It's probably dangerous for me to do this live, to be honest with you. <laughs> there it is right there. This is the Stig viewer right here. And just go to first step, go to disa.mil, find the Stig site. Now they call it cyber.mil forward slash Stigs. Go there, download the Stig viewer. The Stig viewer is going to be like a checklist, right? It's a manual process where you will upload, let's say you're looking at Office 2016 or whatever, right? You would get Office 2016 and upload it into this Stig viewer. It will tell you everything it wants you to that you should be looking at, right? It'll be like 100, 200 items. But right off the bat, you'll be able to eliminate some things. Like you'll be like, okay, well, yes, we have Office, but we don't use, we don't Word or whatever, right? And you can just eliminate those controls. Or we, we use Office, but we don't use Visio or something. And that will eliminate some of those controls. And you will go through and you'll check off. And, and then it'll also tell you what categorization of the, and this is really useful, It'll show you what categorization of the control is. In other words, you have a you have a high, medium, and low impact. So if it's a high, you want to start with your high impact items. High impact meaning like if you don't fix this thing on this Office 2016 system, somebody can just use any password, username, and then they can get in and own the whole box. You know, that's a category one, a category one type thing. If, if it's moderate, it's like, okay, well, somebody could corrupt the information, but they got to go through all these different steps. And then low is like, this th This is an update that could be exploited in the future, but there's no specific thing for it, right? So it goes from one level of risk to another level of risk. And this is where the Stig Viewer shines because it's telling you the levels of risk that you're seeing. And um, I'd have to upload the Stigs and stuff, and that's... I hope that this was helpful to you, but here's here's everything right here. I wonder if I could find the other the other um, tool. That's a really good tool. It's called SCC, and that tool is very effective. Yeah, I'm not seeing. They keep moving stuff around, so every time I come here, it takes me on a journey. Like it's a, <laughs> I'm on a journey. And I'm, I'm learning stuff again, over and over again. So at least they're keeping up with the times or trying to. I'm looking for the other tool. Where is that thing? Okay, anyway, I hope that that helps. Another thing that you can do for security implementation is to go to the actual vendor. Like if you're working on a Microsoft 2010 system, the vendors will have the best information way better than stigs way better than, if you're working on an oracle database you know 11g or whatever they're up to now you could go to the actual oracle site and see what's the most recent updates and patches and what kind of zero day exploits that they just found and things like that that's this is going to be your best source every time the vendor stigs are helpful and then there's another site i can quickly show you and that one is called nsa.gov has a really good really good manuals now as soon as i go on the site they're gonna be monitoring my ip i don't care they already know everything about me anyway so so where is it it's these guys have been pretty consistent too not as deep and consistent as dod but they have a lot of really good resources that i'm surprised people don't know about and one of their best ones is this is their security configuration guides which i'm looking for here where is it educators no professionals okay i think this is it yeah security advisories and secu and technical guidance i think this is it right here yeah here it is right here this is this is i've been using this for years and years for for configuring systems this is all publicly available information nothing classified here and all they do is they they go to the actual source they go to the microsoft uh technical guidance they go to the red hat technical guidance let's let's look at red hat let's see if red hat is on here red hat let's see show you what i'm talking about for implementation guides really good guidance 
And as I say, really good guidance, I can't find Red Hat. <laughs> <laughs> they, they probably call it something else. Uh, it's usually called R-H-E-L. And nope. I don't know. R-H-E-L. Where is that? Ah, oh, here's one. So they have their own version of Linux, by the way. And that's what SE Linux is. I believe it was developed by them. I can't find Linux on here. What's, that's so weird. Practice. God, that's not it. No. I know they have Red Hat on here. Maybe they have Linux. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they're trying to be not specific to any one. See, now I'm going down a rabbit hole. Okay, I'm going to stop. Oh, here we go. Implement Implementing SE Linux enhanced linux uh papers anyway just go to this site uh just nsa.gov and you'll see you'll see what i'm talking about this is not yeah I, for some reason i can't find linux but it's they have stuff on here that's really good really good guidance for security uh for technical security implementation so i hope that answers your question